Hi everyone, my name is Sunyak and uh, I'm going to give an individual presentation. Um, my study is energy scattering uh, strategy for uh, for my microgrids based on a multi-agent system. First, uh, I'm going to uh, introduce the microgrid. Uh, what is the microgrid? Uh, what are the features of it? And then I will introduce the method that I used in the paper. And then I will explain the design to you. And finally, I will give an give a conclusion. So let's start with the microgrid. Um, with the continuous develop development of uh, electric power and people are paying more and more attention to the electric development of electrical power. The concept of microgrid appears to the people's view. So what is the microgrid? Um, you can see from the picture, normally it uh, is uh, made up of uh, renewable energies, uh, really wind power and uh, solar power, and also uh, energy storage system and uh, different uh, loads. And sometimes there will be a diesel generator. Uh, so there are two operation modes of, of the microgrid. One is island mode and the other one is grid connected mode. Island mode is when the microgrid is uh, disconnected with the grid and uh, the grid connected mode is when the microgrid is connected with the, mode, with the grid. And uh, the microgrid has uh, some features. The microgrid uses renewable energy resources, so it is uh, environmentally friendly, and it can can be supplied by itself. So the cost is low, and uh, the microgrid doesn't have a, a long distance power transmission. So the power load, sorry, the power load is also low. However. Without a suitable energy management system, uh, there will be a mass in microgrid, uh, unstable voltage, uh, interruption of power supply, and huge power loads, etc. will influence your life. That is why my study is meaningful. So the method that I use in the paper is based on the uh, multi-agent system. What is the uh, multi-agent system? You can see from the picture, this is the functional agent. It uh, detects the environment and uh, compares the condition it detected with the rules that you set before. And if the condition meet the rules, it will make actions. And the multi-agent system is made up of many agents, and each of the each of the agents can operate independently. And also, they can communicate with each other. So the whole design is based on the multi-agent system to uh, control each part of the microgrid. And this is my design. As you can see, the uh, agent one is to control the wind generator or not based on the forecast weather, uh, wind speed, and output power. The agent two is to control the solar generator to work on that based on the forecast uh, solar irradiation, uh, temperature, and output power. The agent three uh, is to control the uh, fuel cell based on its temp temp pressure. And agent four 
is to determine whether to charge or discharge the battery based on the uh, load demand and uh, uh, state of charge and also the gen uh, total generation. Uh, the agent file will only be used when the microgrid is on uh, island mode and the agent assist uh, will calculate the whole uh, load demand and uh, send, send it to the central controller. Uh, so the rules of the system is um, are if the total renewable energy generation is greater than the, the whole uh, load demand and it will first firstly supply the load and if there are uh, some extra energy it will uh, charge the battery and any extra power will be sold to the grid and uh, when it's uh, iron mode there will be no uh, step three uh, when the total uh, renewable energy generation is less than the uh, whole load demand it will uh, supply the loads from the battery and uh, when it is island mode it will uh, obtain the energy from diesel generator and when it is uh, grid connected mode it will uh, obtain the energy from grid so to conclude this design uh, considers the operation of both uh, island mode and uh, grid connected mode and uh, makes full use of uh, renewable energy sources. However, the design does not classify uh, the loads. So that's all.